So thoracoplasty was a treatment for pulmonary TB and it was basically collapsing one of the lungs to allow the lung to rest and the body to um, deal with the infection. And this was a quite a common procedure from the late 19th century up until around 1950 when drug therapies overtook this in curing TB. But in the story world, this uh, surgery has come back because of the problems associated with these drug therapies now. There are other cases in which we might look back into history to circumvent the problems caused by antibiotic resistance. So one of the um, things that's particularly interesting is the place of the hospital within all of this. We might look back to the 19th century where surgery typically wasn't conducted in hospitals at all because of the risk of infective agents. Um, if you were well to do in the 19th century, your first go, uh, your first go to would be to have the surgeon come to your house to do the surgery in your own home. Um, and a room would be cleared in your house, it would be um, sprayed with a carbolic solution which would supposedly kill any infective agents and lead to a, a, as close to an aseptic environment as possible. Um, and then the surgery would happen in your own home and then a nurse would stay and care for you and you could recover in the comfort of your own home. There was much less risk of um, getting infections from other patients. Um, so this even might be something that um, starts to be considered the hospital as a site of danger and the home as a site of surgery again. Typically, surgeons are always keen to do something. So doing a surgical procedure instead of giving a drug always has a certain attraction. However, um, if I was the patient, I'd rather take a handful of drugs three times a day than have my ribs chopped out. <laughs>